Alrighty guys, what is going on? Corbin with Corbin's Cornhole Reviews back again for another episode. And today we have the Buffalo Bags Fallout X. Uh, before I get into it, I do have two sponsors. Black Sheep Baggers and the Cornhole Cave. BlackSheepBaggers.com. Bags, boards, accessories, apparels, all the goodies. Um, awesome customer service also. So check them out. Use code Corbin5 for 10% off. Also the Cornhole Cave, brick and mortar out of Wichita, Kansas. Uh, makes his own boards now, which is awesome. I really like that. Uh, but grab some bags, boards, talk to the owner, grab a t-shirt. You know, really nice guy. So check that out. I also have a Patreon. If you're so inclined, that link is down below. So, Fallout X. Uh, you guys have seen the 23 series I've been doing with the Buffalo bags, uh, all the stuff that they sent me to try out. This was not in there, um, but I wanted to try them anyway. Honestly, they were for me and my partner because uh, he likes the speed of Viper R's. He just doesn't like Viper R's. So I wanted speeds of Viper R's without getting Viper R's. And that's essentially where you fall on the Fallout X. Um, really good bag, but we'll get into it. Uh, so price, I want to say they're 125 plus shipping. Uh, I got these for, I think they were 110 plus shipping because uh, they were like a closeout or something. Um, you know, price is a little steep. That's just me. That's been my one call with Buffalo basically always. I really like the company. I like all the people there. I really like the material. I like the bags. I like everything about them. It's just the price is just a little steep, uh, but that's okay because I make a high quality product, honestly. So really not a huge deal. Uh, Break-in method on these. Toss sauce carpet muncher with a little bit of wrinkle guard. Uh, Shoptosssauce.com. Use code Corbin10 for 10% off there. Uh, made them basically perfect. I've thrown them a ton because I wanted to get them just kind of wrecked and kind of how I want them to be, you know, so they're, they're there a hundred percent. They're, they're in great shape. Uh, brings us to speeds. So on the slow side, we got like five to six fast side, we get a nine. So the slow side is that nice herringbone that you guys like. So you like wizard, um, who else has it? like sorcerer? Um, a lot of bags have it. The NFQ yeet, um, Buffalo uses it on their fury. Uh, there's just a lot of bags that utilize this herringbone. Really like it. And the fast side is pro sniper fast, you know, viper fast, whatever. Uh, it's a good material. So brings us into our three Fs. We have fill, feel, and flop. Fill is buffalo fill. It's just what it is. It's what it always is. It's a nice asymmetrical blend. Feels good in the hand. Overall feel is good. Corner seams edges are awesome. Closing stitch is small, nice and tight. I like it. Um, overall flop, they're pretty floppy, you know, for a carpet bag. That's partially because that nine material, uh, it is just going to be floppy that's what it is um i know the wife and kids are on their way back so that's why i keep checking back there if you're curious um but overall i mean the template's great it's a slightly smaller template which i like in a bag like this uh, it lets it be a little more active which is cool um so it brings us into our playability so we got blocks pushes cuts rolls flops airmail sneak around and drop both sides actually just depending uh these things are monsters in the humidity Humidity and dew, they're monsters. The slow side does not care at all. Just plows right through it all, still hole friendly, still active if you need it to be. They're awesome. Um, I really like them for collects. I like that they're a little more active than like a Viper R. So I'll use these when I want them to be like just a little more active. If I'm having like trouble hitting the hole, I'm gonna probably go Viper R just because they're a little more forgiving. But if I want something a little more bouncy, a little more fun, I'm gonna play with these. So let's throw them a little bit. Um, my wife, we were throwing yesterday. And, uh, you know, she was throwing the Viper R's and I was throwing these. Um, it's kind of how I do it. When she throws the Viper R's, I tend to throw these just to see, you know, differences because they're, they're similar bags, but they're also pretty different when it comes down to it. Um, still plenty friendly. Surprised it hasn't gotten it yet. I don't think I need to air meal here. You know, I'm going to anyway, but I don't think I need to. But it's a little more fun to do it. <laughs> I think a normal slot shot probably would have taken that back. Um, but it's, I really like this combo um, with the colors too, because they got like the black and gold on the front. Always been a fan of that, um, which is a gray herringbone. It's a really nice combo. I like that quite a bit. Um, I just like how it plays. Feels good in my hand. Um, you know, it does what I want it to. And you can see I'm just, I'm used to them. So I'm just, I'm comfortable with them. Throwing them down the gut. That one missed a little bit. Might be able to collect this on the slow side. And I I bashed my hand on this fence yesterday. And oh my gosh, did that hurt. <laughs> that was a nice collect though. Oh my gosh, did that hurt. Like, smoke the side of my hand. There's the wife and the kids. Be ready for a little bit of uh, interruption here, but that's okay. Um, but yeah, totally bashed my hand. That hurt. And I have a scar on that side of my hand. So, hurt even more. So, Going fast side here. It is a little sticky out. Um, so that's part of why it's not just launching off the board, but they collect without much of an issue. 
they're just they're super friendly. Oh, I wanted that to go in. I wanted three four packs in a row. That would have been nice. <laughs> But they're super friendly. They don't really hang, especially on that fast side. It's not going to hang. You know, it's one of those bags. When you get Viper Fast, Pro Sniper Fast, whatever you want to call it, um, it just goes. It is a quick material. I'm using my slower boards today. You guys will notice that because my regular boards are just, hey, babe. My regular boards are just way too fast sometimes. And it's not that they're like insanely fast. It's just some days I want to slow it down a little bit, you know, be a little more active with like carpet and stuff like that. So, today is one of those days. Daddy, I play. Well, I'm doing a video right now, babe. You guys can play outside, but I'm doing a video right now. So, see if I can't lay a block or two. Um, show off that they actually are pretty active. And they're not, they're not active unless you want them to be active. Which is part of what I like about them. I'm trying to lay a block really hard. <laughs> kind of worked, but doesn't give me enough to flop over, so I'll just step out. That'll give me enough. So they're not really active unless you want them to be active, which is nice. I like a bag like that. No, trying to flop through it way too hard. Way too hard. I knew it out of my hand. I mean, it's not a bad result, but a little bully there, slide right in. Never an issue on that fast side. But no, they're, they're not like a lot of BGs, which are just crazy active right from the get-go. Um, they're, they're active enough if you want them to be active. But if you don't want them to be active, they're not going to do anything, which is cool. So that's finally a perfect block. I missed it left, but you see it bounced. Hey, bud. Let's see if I can get it again. I threw it left again, and it bounced again. I mean, it's, it did what I wanted, so let's just see if I can collect it. I cannot. Tommy. Oh, those rounds bother me. I don't do those in actual games, too. That's what bothers me even more. That's when I do it in a game. I'm like, why did I do that? You know, I had a perfect opportunity here for points, and I screwed it up. Get up. That's not the bag's fault in any way, shape, or form. There we go. So I was trying to lay. <laughs> I was trying real hard to get that there. Maybe. See, it's just, it's hopping right over it. It's just my accuracy's off. So, little collect here. They collect without much issue. I mean, for a carpet to be that friendly, but still be able to collect really well, says a lot about the back. You know, I, I like when it does that. Because that's, that's why I use a lot of carpet. Because um, carpet does collect really well. It's forgiving for the most part, but it also collects really well. So when you're playing a block style game like I typically do, you want the carpet there. Um, awesome. But these, get up. These for as quick as they are on the carpet, they still collect really, really well. That's just a poor round. But they're a nice back. I like them a lot. I mean, they're kind of like number two behind my uh, Viper R's is kind of like a go-to. So let's get another down and back here. Hopefully you guys can see enough with the kiddos. Step out just a little bit here. No issue with the collect. I thought that might be a little short. Oh, I don't think I can collect this, but it's not going to stop me from trying. I missed it. I missed it bad. Buddy, hey. I just missed that bad. That was... That was all me. Nothing new with the back. That was all Corbin. A little bit to the right side, kind of hard. I don't really have that right to left um, cut collect in my arsenal, but don't stop me from trying. Trying to lay a block, but that's okay. Let's just drag this in there. Not even going to mess around with it. <laughs> I will launch your bag out, though. That was fun. Let's just slide in. Uh, I was going to airmail my last bag anyway, so we're good. Voila. So, that guy's is the Buffalo Bags Fallout X. I know you've been waiting for this one for a while. I 
I like this bag quite a bit. It just plays really, really nice in a lot of different conditions. Uh, really forgiving, but also kind of active. I mean, it's just overall a good bag. Um, I tend to throw them well. I'm comfortable with them. I just, I like them quite a bit. So if you guys are looking for a speed like this, you know, you want Viper R speed, but not quite the template. This is a pretty darn good option, honestly. So that is the short and sweet on the uh, Buffalo Bags Fallout X. If you guys like this one, please give me that thumbs up, subscribe, share it with your buddies, and I'll catch you in the next one. Thanks.